I'm retired, aka the Burley Man. And I have an idea for a series about how to go from being a borderline alcoholic chain smoker to an ultra runner. How to go from being, go from zero to hero. That's pretty cheesy, but I think there's a lot of information on how to train once you already are a runner. There is almost nothing out there that I can find that has a path to go from nothing, not running at all, to even just start running, period. How to even get up in the morning. And so I wanted to create a series that kind of uh, gives the information on my journey from just being somebody who is out drinking every night and smoking to starting to run. And I guess we'll call this episode one. So anyway, I'm going into the bow range to shoot my bow. But I will say this, it's an inside out journey. It starts on the inside. And the number one thing that has to happen on the inside is you have to start taking care of yourself. And that's a tough thing to do. Ah, <laughs> but I think one thing that really helped me is to see the care that I could take for something else. So when I was very sedentary and super depressed, I think one of the first warning signs of how I was caring for things was my house plants. They started to die and I realized that my lifestyle and my self-care is was externalized in the care of my house plants and then also I got a dog <laughs> which was I got a puppy actually and it forced me to realize that I had to have some kind of health and structure to my life in order for these other beings to survive like I had another being or another living thing to take care of and my care of myself translated to my care of something else so that's my first challenge for you if you're thinking about wanting to do endurance sports or ultra racing or something is you got to find something else to externalize your care, your self-care. You could go get a house plant. Succulents are hard to kill. You could start with one of those. If you've been thinking about getting a dog, any pound dog, cattle dogs are great for running. Or you can just focus on taking care of your kids and you're going to realize that you're not taking care of yourself. And your sleep schedule, your life schedule, everything in your life <clears throat> does not promote health and life. It actually is bringing death. It's, and that's when you got to start making the small changes like staying home, going to bed, sleeping, <laughs> being functional in the morning to water your plant or feed your dog or whatever it is that you got to do, make your kids breakfast. So there you go. Don't start running. But as a precursor to episode two, I will say this. The thing that finally got me on my feet and moving, honestly, was fear. And that fear was created by signing up for an event or a race or planning a <clears throat> run that scared me. 
Now the first time it was the Hurl 50 miler in Helena, Montana that it was uh, had 13,000 feet of elevation gain. And then I got out of it and the second thing I planned was to run the Grand Canyon rim to rim to rim. 40 plus miles with 11,000 feet elevation gain. Those events scared me enough to start training because I knew I couldn't do those things without training. So start thinking about that. We'll talk more about it next time. How to choose an event that scares you but is still attainable in the amount of time that you have. So take care of yourself and be good to you and don't beat yourself up it's just little tiny steps are gonna get you there peace